Thank you. Next, I'll be doing a monologue by Peg Carrot Hall. Well, I don't know what it's called. I named it the Stuck Sister because it didn't have a name. Um, but I've used it for a few auditions, so if you've auditioned with me, some of these people have probably seen it. But feel free to laugh because it's supposed to be funny. <laughs> it's not easy being the ugly Stuck Sister. Everybody feels so sorry for poor little Cinderella. But what about me? I deserve a little sympathy, too. Does my fairy godmother ever show up with a magic wand? Does the prince ever ask me to dance? Not in your life. And the best I can hope for with my pumpkins is a decent piece of pie. <laughs> As for rats, rats are rats. Their sneaky eyes and skinny tails, nibbling and gnawing at the garbage. And I never saw one yet who turned into a coachman. If you ask me, that Cinderella is weird. I mean, besides the fact that she has naturally curly hair and wears size four and a half shoes, she's so good natured it's downright irritating. If you had to dust and clean and sweep all day long, would you go around singing to the birds? <laughs> of course not. No sensible person would. <laughs> Some people think that I'm jealous of her. <laughs> Maybe I am. But with good reason. I subsisted on 700 calories a day for three weeks before the fall. I did like my leg lift exercises faithfully. I've got a perm, a facial, and a manicure, and I even bought a new gown. Blue velvet, designer label. Currency, I thought to myself, here I come! And then what happens? Little Cindy, who has never seen the inside of a health club in her life, who does not know the caloric difference between a carrot stick and a chocolate eclair, whips together a dress out of some old curtains from Kmart, waltzes off to the ball, and snaps the prints. It isn't fair. It really isn't fair. 